Hey guys, this is MacHeads101, and a lot of people requested for me to do a tour of my desk, so that's what I'm going to do now. So, if you don't really like tours of my desk, or me talking about things, you just like tutorials, and you don't have to watch this, but for all of those people who do like that kind of stuff, here we go. So this is what my desk um, doesn't always look like. It usually looks like this, though. I have my MacBook Pro there, where I'm recording, right over there. Sorry for the mirror, this is just for this part because I'm recording it actually on my MacBook Pro. Whoa, look, you can see the recording a million times. Okay, and there is my MacBook where I like to do my homework and stuff like that. So this is usually for professional stuff like making, playing around with code and um, stuff like that. And this is for homework. And this is for like video editing and make all my, making all my movies. That's why I'm making it on this one. So, now... Time for the actual thing. Okay, so basically, I walk into my room, I see my bed, see my desk, and the reason for why I have two chairs, one is the one I like to sit on, that's the red one, and the one, the other one, the blue one's where I like to put my feet when nobody's there, but often people are there, and so um, that's basically to um, have a chair for them instead of having to go get a chair each time. Now I'll start with the left, and then I'll move to the right. So the first thing I have over here is a nice speaker system. Well, I have my phone there. That's why I usually put it when I get home. And then I charge at night by my bed over there. Okay, so I can just show you to get a taste of what it looks like. I can just plug that in. The light turns green, says it's ready to play. I say no. Okay. And I can just use the remote. Okay, I'm just going to put this down. Okay, hold on. So I can just use the remote and press play. I can lower or raise the volume. It was Friday night and I was feeling high. I can go to another song. And yeah, I can play or pause. And so yeah, I hope you like that. So next thing is, um, okay, I have a speaker there, and then another speaker on the other side, all the way over there. And basically, I have an audio cord over here, so if I want to watch a movie, I just, in my room, I just turn off the um, lights, put the speaker set, I have surround sound, and a 15-inch screen all set to go. This is my MacBook. Like I said, I do that for my homework and stuff like that. I'm just going to close that and get that out of the way for you. Okay. This is just um, some pencils. One really big one. I um, think you care, but okay. Here is where I like... Well, first off, I have some papers over here. This, this one is for like a rebate and stuff like that. Some notes I like to take for some of my videos. And yeah. This is some blank DVDs I have in case I need to burn DVDs. And here is my iPhone syncing wire for my music. I just always grab that from my desk and keep it right over there. My speaker, like I said, here's a cool pencil that my sister got me. I can just press the button. And it shoots up like a spaceship, and yeah, I'll show you how high it can shoot up. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you saw that, but yeah. The next thing is I have two boxes of tissues here. I don't actually need to blow my nose that much. The reason why is because... Basically, if you're like me, you're obsessed with having a clean computer. So basically, you just grab a tissue, clean your computer screen, the camera if you need to, and then you throw it out in the trash can, which is on the other side of my desk, which I didn't get up to yet. Next, I have phone right over there, which I'm going to move so I can just show you what's inside my top drawer. Okay, kind of messy, but who said it has to be clean? So this is just a screwdriver I got from Sears, I think. 
to um, get inside of my computer and you can actually place it to get change the kind of screwdriver I still have an Apple remote I can just if I'm watching a movie I like to take it out to raise the volume instead of having to lean over here's a gigabyte of desktop RAM I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this Problem, I might give it away in a giveaway comment if you'd like me to do that Here's, um, this is for my speaker system in case you have an iPod, uh, not an iPod, some, anything but an iPod that's a music thing, you just plug this in and then you can use this for the audio, plug in if it's the top, top left, bottom, bottom, yeah. Some scissors, in case I need to open packages, I usually open them by my desk. A splitter, audio wire, scrap paper. Okay, here is a um, CD case I got as a gift. I like to keep it in the box. I don't know, that's just the way I am. And here it is, CD case from Coach. I'm really bad with the camera because it flips everything I do. So, there's a CD case. Like, you can see there's CDs in it. Yeah, I saw Windows XP. Can't use Mac for everything. Yeah, well, actually you can with Boot Camp and VMware, but my sister needed Windows, and I so I burned her a copy and thought I might as well keep one for myself in case I ever need it instead of having to go get another copy of Windows or something. And then here, I have a couple boxes. Hold on. I have. Mac OS X 10.5 Leopard, Mobile May, Apple Care. Ah, what, what am I doing? Okay. And last but not least, Adobe CS3. I use CS4 now, but this is the box I came with. Here's basically all of CS3. Not all of it, just the Creative Suite. So, yeah. Okay. Next, I have literally just a few pieces of paper. So, there's nothing much in there. And then here I have a manual for speaker system and a few pictures. And the Snapple collection. Don't really collect them anymore, but I don't know. I have one. Collection. Here I have um thing that slides out. I don't really use it, but whatever. Move that out of the way. I have a trash can. There's all the tissues I use to clean my computer screen. Like I said, I'm obsessed with cleaning it, and here is an iPod case. There's no iPod in it. Box, I just use it to keep some stuff. That back. Here is a case for my laptop if I ever need to go somewhere. It's not made for the MacBook Pro, but when my dad found it and gave it to me, asked me if I need it, I said, sure, why not? So I took it. And I, I would like a better case, but I barely move my laptop around. I might have taken it out of the house, like, maybe a total of five times, including the day I got it, where I had to um, bring it to the house, of course. So, yeah. And then here is all the wiring that makes it work. So what the wires are is the MacBook Pro charger, a uh, thing for more more plugs. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, the thing for the speakers, the thing for this for the speakers, this for the other speakers, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thank you for watching Mac Kids 101. Um, subscribe if you like our videos, and yeah, thank you for watching. Goodbye.